Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another uh, off or offensive tip to help you go ahead and beat the dreaded Tampa 2 or Cover 2 sink um, defense. Um, if you've been playing online and especially watching my channel, um, a lot of people use a lot of Tampa 2 or basically zone coverage against uh, against you, uh, and it's a very difficult uh, zone to actually beat. But I'm not going to show. I'm going to show you a play that you can use to set up your opponent for a huge place up top and pick up a good uh, 30 or 40 yards with this figure play now this is in the single back bunch ace um, and I, I'm running this in Seahawks but you actually can find this in Minnesota New England Baltimore Tennessee Buffalo uh, Denver Cleveland Arizona Kansas City Indianapolis Philadelphia Atlanta New York Giants and New York Jets there is over half the playbooks have this figure play so there's a 50 50 chance that you have this in a formation single back bunt chase in the playbook you're using right now so uh, this is going to be a play action fork shot play action fork shot uh, in particular cleveland actually had this uh, as a uh, play uh, that was um, basically an audible and that's why I started labbing it. Now we're going to go into cover two zones and basically what we're going to do is we're going to run this against uh, Tampa 2's. Um, in particular let's go ahead and run it against, uh, let's see here, we're going to do uh, Tampa 2 right here uh, as our base play. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and block my running back uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take my wild card which is going to be my tight end uh, number one. I'm either going to put him on an out or I'm going to put him on a drag and it really depends on how I want to go ahead and attack my opponent. Now it's critical that you actually use these either one of these two routes either an out route or a drag and the reason you do this is this is going to force your opponent to go ahead and defend those routes because if he's in a Tampa 2 or a cover 2 sink there, those defenders are going to float away, and you want to try to preoccupy him, make sure that he's not actually uh, uh, defending that. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit, hit the easy yards. That's going to be the most critical thing. You want to force your opponent to go ahead and manually defend uh, the routes underneath. And the reason why is that that's going to make sure that you can actually hit your opponent uh, for big yards up top. So as you can see, out route I can pick up an easy five yards. Uh, drag route I can pick up an easy five yards. Uh, all those zones actually float up. And if you got your opponent following that, uh, that tight end, that's going to open up the play for the next level. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this at the next level. Uh, so basically what we got here is we've got uh, a quick little out route. And really what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look um, at the next level right here. Now, this particular play, uh, if you got good man coverage, if you got you way stretch of field, you can actually go ahead and hit your opponent uh, with the, the corner route. But the corner route is not, not going to be the big play. It's going to be this post route right here. That's where you're going to go ahead and get the big play right there. So let's go ahead and try that again. Uh, wide receiver actually got picked off. And let's just do a nice little pass lead right now. And that is what we're looking for. So let's take a look at this. Let's look, look at this in instant replay. So if you've got a good route route running uh, wide, wide receiver or tight end number two, basically what's going to happen is he should be able to beat the mid zone. This defender is going to go ahead and, and, and basically man up against this guy. So you, if you got a fast uh, tight end, he should be able to get distance. And you just go ahead and, and streak the ball up. Uh, you can pick up a good um, 20 yards. So actually, this is more than he's a guy's. A, he's he's a good 30 yards out a 30 yard play if he falls into that cover two zone but what's going to happen is that if you got your opponent trying to defend these these quick little out routes or trying to take defenders and do that what's going to do what's going to happen is that this route right here is going to be wide open here for you for a good 25 yard gain so that's great about it now we can attack our opponent off the left hand side and still have that same area that you can attack them if you go you use a drag so once again, we're going to go ahead and drag our, 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 our tight end. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look uh, for the crossing route. We're going to pick up those, those big 25, 30 yard gain. So you got the drag coming across. And now the defender actually falls down to go ahead and take care of that drag. He's got some responsibility down. You can go ahead and hit this other route. So you have to set your opponent up with this particular play. You got to attack your opponent underneath. You got to force him to go ahead and attack your opponent underneath. Once he starts manually trying to defend that, that means he's not going to be able to defend the deep route. So uh, that's going to be your, your first area you're going to look at. Now, what's going to happen with this particular play is that both of these routes are going to get open. This guy's going to get open, and basically this route's going to be open. So you can do a little outside pass lead to the outside, uh, but that deep post is always going to be uh, wide open too. That's going to be an easy way to go and pick up complete. 
completion. So if you run into a guy that spams a lot of cover two uh, against you, this is a good play to go ahead and jump into, which is the play action fork shot. So I hope you guys enjoy this play break, uh, breakdown. I'm not going to run this play initially, but when I do actually pull either one of these books, Minnesota, New England, Seattle, Baltimore, Tennessee, Buffalo, Denver, Cleveland, Arizona, Kansas City, Indianapolis, Philadelphia, Atlanta, New York Giants, and New York Jets. I will have this in my scheme because I know I'm going to run into somebody that's going to spam a lot of cover two sink or, or Tampa two. So once I get to my subscribers, I hope you guys I hope this, this tip helps you. You can abuse your opponent for a good 25, 30 yard gain uh, and actually go ahead and, and you know, get them out of that defense. It's been so it's so hard to stop or so so hard to get uh, plays against. So thanks a lot for your support and until next time.